Did you know that you can create multiple meshes and skeletons for drawings in a single layer? So that you can animate them using the plastic tool? Well that's what we'll do with this head turn today. Hello ladies and gents and welcome to today's video. If you're new here my name's Darren and I make weekly tutorials for open tunes and the occasional animation. So if that sounds like the kind of thing you're into, why not subscribe to follow along. So last week we looked at how we can use the plastic tool with the cutout character. And this works fine if you have just one drawing in the level, but as I showed in the previous tutorial, you can have different drawings in a level to add flexibility of your character moving. Having different hand positions or to show your character face in different directions. So setting up the one mesh and skeletal structure just doesn't work for the other drawings as I'll show in a sec. So today I want to show how you can add multiple meshes and skeletons to a single level of drawings and how to animate them to add flexibility to a character whichever way it's facing. So multiple meshes is a feature of the plastic tool that I had difficulty figuring out and managed only with the help of Rodney from the OpenTunes Discord channel that I've linked below, so big thanks to him. Let me show you how it works. In this animation you can see the character turn to face the side and I've got a mesh and skeleton set up for when he faces forwards but when he turns the mesh doesn't fit the next drawing so if I show a preview you can only see part of the moustache on the right hand side of his face because you can only see the drawing that fits inside the mesh so if I show the mesh you'll see how it dips in at the top and bottom here so the drawing underneath doesn't show through outside of that mesh so what we need to do is to define a different mesh and skeleton for the second drawing. So the first thing we need to do is to delete the old mesh for the moustache, so just select the column header and tap delete. Then select all the drawings you want to create a mesh for. So select drawing number one of the moustache, hold shift and then drawing number two. And then go to the plastic tool and hit create mesh. Now it only shows one drawing here which is drawing number one. So you can't see exactly how the mesh will fit over both drawings, but you can still adjust the size of the mesh triangles if you want to, and then hit apply. And because we previously had a mesh for the mustache, it asks what you want to do with the old settings. So the easiest way is just to delete the old level entirely. So you can see on the mustache mesh level, it's created two meshes, one for the first position of the mustache and two for the second position. I'm going to extend number two to the end of the animation and you can see how the mesh covers the drawings. So now we've got two meshes we can add two skeletons. So for the first one we make sure we're on the build skeleton mode and then we'll build the skeleton as we did previously. So that's that built and if we go to drawing number two, mesh number two, you'll notice that the same skeleton has been shown for that mesh which obviously won't work on the mesh as we take a look here for animating it. It's not set up exactly for that mesh. So what we need to do is create a new skeleton to cover that mesh. And we do that at the top left here by pressing the plus button. And that adds a second skeleton into the list of skeletons. And now if we go to build skeleton, we can build a new one. And now we have two skeletons. So I'll just set up a small animation for this. Okay, so that's a very simple animation. So we could just go ahead and animate for the second skeleton in the second position. And all we need to do is make sure that skeleton number two is selected at the top left in this drop down. But if we take a quick look at the function editor first, inside the moustache mesh, there's the plastic skeleton, as we had previously. But there's also this new column that says skeleton ID. And this is where the number for the skeleton is stored. So if you make a mistake, you need to check which skeleton you've used or need to fix which skeleton you're using. This is where you do it. So if we just set up a small animation for the second position of the moustache, Oh 
Okay, so there's just a small animation showing two different skeletons working on two different drawings in the same layer. So you see how the plastic tool can be used to make your turnaround cutout characters much more flexible, whichever way they're facing, without having to draw everything frame by frame. And next week I want to show a couple of quick techniques for helping with overlapping body parts. So instead of seeing the lines between the two parts of the arm here, and between the arm and the body here, on the final output, those lines disappear and leave you with a single character. So that's what we'll look at next week. And that's... a guarantee. Thank you.